Hey Earth Signs, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, thank you for tuning into your reading. Today we're going to be looking at who is the person that is thinking about you, that can't stop thinking about you, where their head's at, where their heart's at, what's going on on their end. Let's see if we can pick up some of their private, most intimate thoughts here about you. So um, look, before I kick off this reading, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Um, that would be amazing. If you did want to become a channel member, you can do so uh, via the join button on the homepage of my channel. Otherwise, let's get this reading out there here for you for Earth signs. Can be to the cross watchers as well. Who is this person thinking about you? Okay, could be someone under the sign of a Cancer. Queen of Chalice's strong water energy so far. Okay, a couple of pages here. Um, and then we have a queen. Okay, this is someone who you've known in different assets of your life, different facets of your life. Like you've either worked together, you went to school together, you've been friends, you've been in a relationship. This is someone that has experienced you in different ways. Okay, there could be two people here, two queens and two aces. Okay, Earth signs. You've got options here. You've got a lot of people here thinking about you one could be a water sign um the other could be fire fire um in particular aries has come up this person's being stubborn right now um but i get an alpha energy alpha male alpha female alpha energy that they're bringing to the table here um so this is the one that's thinking about you it's your emperor essentially so this is an intimidating person or you've recently had an intimidating event or interaction with them that sort of left you like oh wow okay you know you've sort of seen this person for who they really are um i'm getting two people though one of which i feel like you have a history or you have a past like i'm getting a strong ex vibe could be someone younger uh i would say younger or your aged actually both but i want to talk about the first person here that i'm picking up i feel like it's this water sign i'm gonna go with the flow i think it's two different people and the water sign um I feel like this person is either falling in love with you or they're starting to become more and more attached. Like if they're falling, they're falling hard and they're falling very quickly. Um, I do get that they're thinking about you more and more in this regard. Like they're just like reminiscing on the memories that you've had, what you've created so far. Like they're going through, it's almost like they have this like film of memory of like images and feelings that they have about you. So there's a lot of like fantasy going on as well. Like, I think they're thinking long term um, about you here, but I also get that this water sign might be doing something sweet for you. I get that some of you, this person is thinking or planning to do something very sweet. Could be like take you out, could be um, making something sweet, booking something that they know you'd like. Like they're being creative about what they want to do for you here. Um, I don't know why, but I get that this person feels like they're taking a risk with you. I don't think it's the other person. The other person is much more reassured. The Empress, Ace of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Um, I feel like it's this water sign that is taking a risk. Now, you've done something or said something that's made this person feel like they're unsure. I don't know why. I feel like I'm, I'm getting that they're taking a risk or they're, this is a very naive person. It could be that they feel naive with you because you're like steering the relationship, you're steering the connection and they're just being like, they're just tagging along for the love and for the fun. Like you can, you know, I'm getting a submissive kind of energy. So I feel like they'll tolerate a lot from you. But that's that's the vibe that I'm sort of picking up from this person, especially from that water sign. The fire sign, possibly earth. Uh, fire sign is the emperor okay this is the player this is like this is the person that's hard to get to they've got a lot of options but they're very very attracted to you i get they're also being stubborn about something here um you might have had some sort of recent interaction and like this person is being super stubborn and they're not they're not back, they're not backing down so if you're in no contact they're certainly not going to reach out first like if you had an argument they're not going to be the first ones to reach out and break the ice they this person wants you to come to them and that's what they're thinking about 
potentially thinking about hooking up, you see that Ace of Wands, it looks like a phallic symbol. So I reckon there's someone here that may be having, I mean, both are, both Aces, they're both having sexual fantasies about you. They're both thinking about you. Both connections appear promising and like that these people are both wanting to offer you something. Um, Earth signs, you're coming up as the Queen, as the Knight of Pentacles. So you're really choosing, you're coming up in that Queen energy. So it could even be that you're not really focused on these people, but you should see the way they're thinking about you and trying to channel your energy. You're not aware of it though. I think you're doing your own thing. Um, both people feel like they found something super rare in you. We've got this unicorn here. So this is nice. Like they feel like they finally found someone who understands them. Um, is like their unicorn, right? Unicorns are, are graceful and lucky and like this beautiful, it's a very auspicious symbol. So there's someone here that something's happened and they feel like super, super lucky to have you and you know, super involved. So I, I love that this has come up. I think it's very promising um, indeed. Of, of how these people feel, but I keep getting it's two different people. I don't think it's the same. Um, I feel like what I'm getting from you though, I think is like your attention is elsewhere and these people are coming to you, like they're approaching you. So that's why I feel like you're sort of doing your own thing and you're waiting for them to come to you. It's going to be a bit of a standoff, especially with this emperor person. Um, they're super stubborn. They will make you wait. Okay, it's not the best, but I don't know why they think that's necessary uh, to make you wait in this regard. But that's that's what they sort of, um, that's what they want to do. Yeah. Oh, sorry, and you want to make them wait as well. Okay, Queen of Wands, we've got a Leo energy. Okay, so that would explain the ego coming on board here. We've got a Leo and an Aries. So this person has come up. So they may be under one of these signs as well. I did mention fire. Um, and Aries came up a couple times. But I get the watching and waiting. Someone feels silly about waiting for you. Okay, they could be waiting for you for quite some time and you're sort of you're sort of out there doing your own thing, you're attracting other people and they feel like a fool waiting at home. There's definitely I feel like they're both sitting at home waiting for you to contact them, like they're not seeing other people, they're not getting out, like their mates are probably inviting them, like, come out, come for a drink or come meet this person. They're honestly not interested. They they kind of feel like foolish because they're waiting for you to approach them or to come around or you know, but I don't, I don't get that like uh, four of cups and the fool. I do feel like at times they feel silly because all their loyalty is going into you and they're really not sure about where you're, where you're sitting. Like there's a bit of mystery around that. Uh, but yeah, I get a sense that that's, that's how they're feeling and that's what they're thinking um, at this current energy. Um, someone feels embarrassed, like made a fool out of themselves in front of you and they're sort of like punishing themselves about it you know they notice this figure here and he's like caught up in the rope page of wands so i get that this person did something to sort of stuff up um and maybe that's why they're also like not talking to you or like disappearing a little bit and i get that it's because they feel humiliated about what happened or how they handled the situation so um probably need some time to sort of cool off and think about things but I definitely feel like someone's coming to you here earth signs they're coming towards you so I think eventually there will be some sort of resolution and contact but um I'm gonna leave it there so thank you again everyone for watching it does mean so much to me don't forget to drop a like if you've enjoyed this video um you can also subscribe to the channel and become a channel member so if you want to become a member you just click on the join button otherwise or the link below. Um, otherwise, I'll leave it there. Thanks again, everyone, and ciao for now.